I find that winter is the best time to pull your soil sample because you have, you know, 60 to 90 days since you last put any amendments into your soil or on your lawn. So um, your test should not be affected by any fertilizers or anything else you put down. Um, you want to pull soil cores um, two to eight inches deep. I I go around the four inch mark and get a couple inches of soil from around the four inch mark. Um, that's where what I consider the root zone. So that's where I like to pull mine from. Um, I find that a lot of nutrients and and other things are in the top inch of soil or so where you have your thatch and everything and it just hasn't worked down yet and my real main concern really is the uh, what I call the root zone about four inches down um, that's what I really want to test and find out what my pH is my pH was 5.3 back in August so I did add a little bit of lime I was low on phosphorus and potassium of which I amended both and I'm really interested to see what this test comes out to be. Uh, when I get the results back, I'll be back on to share it with you and we'll come up with a plan for 2020. The tools we're gonna use today are a plugger, sample boxes, and our containers that are labeled from each part of the yard. We're gonna take uh, maybe eight samples from each part of the yard that we want. We're gonna combine that material, break it up, put it in the soil sample box and send it off to NC State. It's a good idea to label your buckets or whatever container you use to match where you pulled your plugs. Beside driveway. Front yard. Back yard. samples collected uh, what we want to do is we want to remove the first inch or two of organic material full of roots and thatch discard it and keep the two to four inch level of soil and just break it up we need to make sure we remove all of our organic material like roots, thatch, earthworms, uh, stones, leaves, anything we can get out we don't want in there other than dirt. Um, I'm gonna work on this and we'll get these boxes ready to ship out.
The next step in our process is to fill out the paperwork. My particular test is going to the North Carolina State University uh, Agronomic Division Soil Testing section. Um, this time of year, it's $4 per sample. Most of the time, it's free. Uh, but this is the busy time of year for them, for farmers. And they do charge $4. I'm going to send them four samples. Uh, so we're going to get this filled out, as well as the sample boxes filled out. And they've even provided me with a box to put these in, already addressed to the correct people. The next step is to fill up these boxes with soil and we need to fill them to the red line. I would say that is sufficient. All right, we have our samples all packaged up and in the box. We're gonna throw some tape on this and take it to the post office in the morning. I will definitely be back to do another video when the results come in and we will talk about formulating a plan for 2020. Stay tuned for more.